the folks, it is Toby from TIJ Gaming and welcome to Pro Cycling Manager 2020. It's been a long time since I have played a Pro Cycling Manager game. It must be about 2008. I remember on the PSP when I was quite young playing that game and I was absolutely dreadful at it. So hopefully we aren't as bad at Pro Cycling Manager 2020. This is the PC companion to the Tour de France 2020 game which has also been released on the Xbox One and PlayStation 4 today. I'm also releasing a Tour de France 2020 first impressions review and exactly the same time as this video. So if you haven't watched uh, that one yet, I recommend you go and watch that after this video. Uh, a big thank you though to the, 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 to the developers um, of both games for giving me the games for free to try out. Absolutely really looking forward to this. And if you haven't seen any of the stuff on my channel before, I do snooker content. Um, I'll be doing some cycling, co pardon me, some cycling content over the next few weeks. Uh, this is probably the only video I'm going to plan on Pro Cycling Manager 2020 because I am doing a full tour on Tour de France 2020. So with the snooker content, uh, Tour de France content, there's not really much room for Pro Cycling Manager 2020. But if there is the odd video you want to see on the game after this, please feel free to let me know and I can get that organised for you. So let's have a look at what's new in the game this year. So in career, we've got morale, the dashboard and race plan and assistance. In 3D race, we've got more offensive AI, interesting based upon trends over the previous seasons, and less predictable race day conditions for greater surprises. And then numerous pages in career mode have been redesigned, and updates of 2020 routes have been completed. So in today's video, we're just probably going to complete uh, a quick race. So let's go into single player, one-off race. Let's have a look. So list of packs, yep, default, that's absolutely fine. Like I say, I haven't played a pro cycling manager game for years and years and years, and the game's already not responding. Right, here we go. Um... I have to say, my, my PC is not the best um, at recording games, so apologies if it's not the best quality, uh, but let's see. So we've done the Tour de France on one of my other videos, so we'll just um, select a single stage and go for that first stage for the Tour de France. Uh, let's have a look then. So all the teams are on here as before. Team Ineos, surprisingly, are licensed for this game, which is very interesting because they aren't licensed on the Tour de France game. If anybody knows why that is, please feel free to let me know down in the comments. That's very interesting. Hmm. That's very, very interesting. We're going to go for Team Ineos, as I am going to do um, in the Tour de France game. So let's select eight riders. So those eight riders should be absolutely fine there. Yeah, that's fine. Briefing, let's have a look. Yeah. Magazine, today's stage. Favourites, Kwiatkowski from our team. Zoom on Grant Thomas. This is one of the major rendezvous for Thomas this year. He's been preparing for weeks for this moment. I'll bet my house that he's in the final top ten. Is anybody going to tell him that, uh, that I'm the one who's controlling him? Equipment and then strategy. Ooh, I quite like this. So, take part in sprints. Take part in sprints for best climber and points. Ride for the stage. Ride for the overall standings. Ride if in a breakaway. Attack. Follow attacks. Do not attack. Um... Should we go for one for the best climber and one for the points? So we'll go for Carapaz for the, the climb. And then for points, we'll go with uh, Karatkovsky. Why not? So, 3D race. Here we go. So I'm presuming we don't control any of the riders in this, if I'm right. So a little bit different to the Tour de France 2020 game, where you do control the riders. Now, I will maybe have to turn the audio down on the game a little bit, because I haven't tested how loud it is yet compared to... My microphone to generate and all the good stuff. And I'm very excited to get into this and see what it's like compared to the Tour de France 2020 game. But if you are looking forward to lots of cycling content on the channel in the next few weeks, make sure to subscribe to the channel. The riders will have to complete three big circuits. However, that probably won't upset the scenario of the stage, which should end in a bunch sprint on the Promenade des Anglais. Yep, it is um, an interesting one in the Tour de France this year, actually. There is... The first stage is kind of free circuits, it's free loops. We're going to go for the two tours. So we've got the rider control panels there, yep. Yeah. Any moment during the race, at least one rider selected, yep. Yeah. You can select a new rider, understood. So, green is the stamina bar, yellow is the resistance bar, and red is the attack and sprint bar. Heart, heart rate gives you an intensity of a rider's effort. Orders and actions, so... Let's have a look. Uh, attack, maintain position... Effort cursor, relay, infinite replay, fetch water bottles, automatic is all here. Return to initial order. Okay, cool. Maintain position. Yep. This all seems fairly self-explanatory. I just wanted to make sure that 
we know what we're doing before we get into it. Uh, return to the court and order. Okay, cool. This should be all good. Here we are then. We are away for the first stage of the Tour de France. Yeah, a breakaway has occurred. Oh god, this commentator's doing my head in already. Right, so there is a breakaway at the front of a few riders. Right, I'm going to turn this commentary down a little bit because it's doing my head in already. I wonder what the comment, uh, the quality's like on your screen though, because it's pretty good for me. Uh, we're going to go at times two. And as I say, this looks pretty good. The sprint is not far off. The most useful order is follow. Okay. So we'll go, we'll have a look at Bernal, who is the favourite for the general classification with Team Ineos. So the first sprint, as said, is coming up. Oh, God. The commentator on the Tour de France game is far better. He's getting on my wick at the moment. Um, but we're just going with automatic. Apply defined strategy. So they're all at quite a high tempo. As you can see, Kwiatkowski is up there in the top ten. He's riding quite well. Some team managers mustn't appreciate the fact that there is a breakaway, given that the pack has increased its speed. Not exactly. Couldn't agree more. So, let's fast forward a little. Oh, it's, it doesn't like it at times eight. We'll go at times four then. Chris Froome just behind Kwiatkowski. So the sprint is coming up now. Do you know you can use a rider to protect another? Brilliant. Counter attack by Oliver Nation. Attack by Alexei Lucek. Fantastic. The protection order can be accessed with a right click. Now right click. Okay, cool. Carapaz is now protecting Karakovsky. Excellent. So, there is the sprint finish. And Tom Van Osbrek took two points. Pasha took one point there. But I'll tell you what, the game doesn't look too bad at all. Looks really clean. Okay, the graphics aren't ma amazing. Um, but they're certainly not too bad at all. Just trying to look for how long there is left. So there's 147 kilometres left of this first stage. It's certainly not as exciting as uh, riding yourself, I think. Just watching these guys go. But quite a breakaway. I don't know. Ah, there we go. There's the gap. So there's a... Thank you very much, commentator. All right, all right, shut up. There's a gap of 2 minutes and 20 from the peloton to the breakaway, as you can see. Um, but the route's completely different on this game to uh, what it is on the official Tour de France game. Again, I don't know how it works with licenses because all these, all the teams are licensed in this game. Um, but the route is completely different to what it is on the uh, Tour de France game. So make of that what you will. There's 135 kilometres to go here. The pack can't get strung out too far, or it's going to start breaking up. Right, exactly. So there's three riders in that breakaway. So we've got Van Osbrek. So there's three who have fallen, it, interestingly. Shame we couldn't get to see that. So there's three guys in the breakaway. The peloton is fairly well balanced. There's 170 in the peloton. Um, I think from looking earlier, this is the order of our riders. So there's Carapaz, Kwiatkowski, Van Baal uh, is there as well, Chris Froome, Dennis Bernal. Um, but we're just going to fast forward a little now. So, Kwiatkowski will soon be in need of refreshment. Your riders feed themselves, but you must use one or more riders to fetch water bottles. Okay, right. Fetch water bottles order. <laughs> Okay, cool. Let's see. Let's uh, see him fetch these water bottles then. Oh, he's uh, speeding up a little. So is this, I think it's another climb coming up in five kilometres, isn't it? So Kwiatkowski is the man. They've just gone past the first circuit. So 110 kilometres to go here. And again, another climb coming up. So, can we do anything here? I think it's Kwiatkowski gone for the climbs. I might be wrong. It could be Carapaz, though. I actually think it might well be Carapaz if he's up there. Um, maintain position, relay, fetch water bottles. Let's go automatic. Acceleration by Luchenko. Brilliant. Happy to hear it. Uh, it was Kwiatkowski going for it, wasn't it? So, one... 
Ah, one to go. So, who's going to get it this time? I think and Van Osbrack has got it. Obviously, they've got the breakaway, which means the Peloton can't get any points at these climbs. So, classification. Uh, there's the two at the front. So, we've got Lysenko and Pasha at the front. What's A3? A2, A1. So, you've got the leader. Zivakov. Oh, no. Zivakov must be at the back. So, it's E2. Are we looking at E2? There we go. I thought we were. Right. So, Pasha and Ludzenko are the leaders. And then we've got A1, 2, and 3 at the back. And then the rest of the peloton. So, the leader of the peloton is, a, is with Krujizvik. Rajan, or whatever his name is, in fourth. Uh, and then there's a French guy behind him. So, 93 kilometres to go here. We're finally placed in the peloton. Absolutely fine. We're looking at Egan Bernal for the final classification. So this looks all good to me at the moment. He hasn't quite got the charm of Tour de France 2020. At least I don't think so. Um, again, I think I'd, if I had to pick one of the two, I'd pick that. But it's certainly a good... So another crash in the pack. Interesting if we can see one of those before the end. Uh, so 20 kilometres again before we get uh, round to the second loop of three. He's off on his own. Team sponsor won't be disappointed. So Peters has gone on the attack. 82 kilometres to go here. All of our riders... Oh, Z I didn't realise Zivakov. Um, obviously Zivakov was the man who... Uh, a couple of teams have set themselves up as pacemakers for the pack. They obviously don't have anybody in the breakaway group. Thank you very much for that commentator. Um, Zivakov, because of him fetching drinks, has obviously fallen back quite a bit. But the rest of us are in the peloton quite nicely. Uh, again, we're just using that applied strategy. Don't want to do anything too fancy here. There's still a while to go in this race. Just keep cool. Keep calm. Uh, again, you know, the, it's all automatic here, which is quite nice. So we're six kilometers away from Nice uh, for the second time round. And then we'll loop around once again for the last circuit of this first stage of the Tour de France. So... Points classification. None of our guys in there. We're not really fussed. We're more fussed about the general classification here. So the, I don't think there's any breakaway now. There isn't. There's the pace car. I don't think there's any sort of breakaway. Got A1, A2 and A3. They're behind. That's right. But everybody else in the peloton. The tempo has slowed down. Something might be cooking. Hmm. If something's cooking, I wouldn't mind it. Right, Kwiatkowski. Let's attack. Let's see if we can, can't get to the top of that climb first, eh? Look out. He's, breaking away. He's losing a lot of his power, though. Right. We now need to pause. Automatic, define strategy. And let's get Van Baal. I thought it was right click. Right click. No. Uh, I thought it was right click to get a rider to defend. Perhaps not. Or attack. Or, yeah. Um, not a defend or attack, but as in to protect a rider. Not exactly sure, but he's got some of his power back. So Kwiatkowski is gone. Just wants to get to the top of that sprint first, just to say we've done it. But he's being caught quite quickly. So the peloton is now 170 strong. It's 174 actually. But Carapaz made a little bit of a breakaway. Not much though. Again, we're just using our normal defined strategy. Nothing fancy here. So Carapaz leads. None of our other guys up there, though. And Carapaz hasn't gone. It says he's attacked, but not really. So how far have we got of the race to go? We have got 46 kilometres. We'll really be interested probably in the last 15. Carapaz made a slight breakaway, but the pace of the peloton is definitely improving. 40 kilometres to go then here. Oh. Rider is looking to break away. 
So Carapaz is a bit of a lone wolf up there, but he can't really seem to break away at the moment. But uh, I'll see you guys with 20 kilometers to go, because if I go any quicker than four times, the game is a bit of a hissy fit. Right, okay, so 20 kilometers to go here. Carapaz is the leader of the race. We're just going to keep doing as we are. I'm obviously, Egan Bernal is the man that uh, we are planning to win this stage, so we'll have to see how that goes. Obviously, we are just using our defined strategy. The riders are entering the last 15 kilometers of the stage. There's a sustained rhythm at the moment. Some riders definitely won't be able to keep up. Hmm, interesting. So none of our guys really at the front, but they are certainly in there. But just over 10 kilometers to go now. There's no sort of breakaway like there was in the Tour de France 2020 version of this video, of which I've done. The sprinters are positioning themselves up front. It'll probably be a mass sprint finish. So, Bernal's about mid-grid at the moment. Probably needs to get a bit further forward. Kwiatkowski, though, is going. He might well be our main hope here. So, five and a half kilometres to go. The riders are entering the last five kilometres of the stage. They get, he's getting a bit excited, this commentator, for his own good. Four kilometres to go, then. Can Kwiatkowski do something? I wouldn't start attacking yet. Maybe with... Two to go. We'll just use that automatically defined strategy. There goes the sprint. The strong men are giving their Why not? Let's just all go for it. I know this isn't what you should do, but it's a video game, so let's see. Uh, let's see how we get on. So the end of the race. The like a of his craft. He was the today. And Kwiatkowski gets into position 15. That is not too bad at all. Fabio Jacobson. Wins the stage. Where are the rest of our guys going to cross the line? We'll find out in just a second. Froome, 35. Bernal, 55. Thomas, 47. Because it's a fairly flat stage, and obviously the peloton was fairly close together, it wasn't really too important uh, to keep everybody... It wasn't too important to get to the front of the field because there was only a few seconds between everyone. So it wasn't a big push, but Kwiatkowski, nonetheless, managed to finish uh, there. Just in case you missed them, here are the race highlights. So there you go. The winner of the race, as you can see there. The peloton all getting across the line fairly quickly. And this is cool. Highlights of the race. So this is the front guy, I think. This is the one who won the race in this stage. And as you can see, climbed to the front. But he was always there. He'd always got quite a strong hold. And he knew he'd won it before he got over the line. So let's have a look at the podium. So just cycling through all of the different podiums there for the different classifications. Jacob, Jacobson comes in first. As you can see, Kwiatkowski got 15th. Um, I think he got into the some sort of classification. I noticed he was there. Yeah, he was in the best climber classification. Young riders, Bernal for 6th. That's good to see. Team classification, we finished in 8th. So that's uh, the second stage. We're not going to do that today. Um, but that was a good uh, first impression. That was uh, not to... Oh, I didn't want to export that. Uh, can we go back? I don't know. We'll just, have, we'll just have to exit the game at some point and find out how we do that. But uh, first impressions of the game is pretty good. Um, I definitely do prefer the Tour de France 2020 game on the Xbox One and PS4 um, because I'm more of a <laughs> I'm more of a rider myself rather than rather than looking at. I, I'm more of a management guy usually, but when it comes to cycling, I think I'd rather um, ride the bikes myself and uh, try and make a go of it myself. Because clicking buttons in this isn't 
massively enjoyable. Um, but nonetheless, this was really enjoyable nonetheless, even though I say it wasn't too enjoyable. And I don't know what I'm banging on about here, but oh well. Um, but if you guys have enjoyed that first impressions um, of Pro Cycling Manager 2020, make sure to leave a like down below. Um, comment your thoughts on the game as well, and whether you're going to be picking this game up or the Tour de France 2020 game. But both games are available today, as of today, which is the 4th of June. Thursday, the 4th of June. And uh, if you want to see more cycling content on the channel, you'll be able to see it with daily Tour de France 2020 content um, for the Xbox One. Um, on the end screen, you'll be able to see the video. You'll be able to see the first impressions video of the Tour de France 2020 game, as well uh, as the first stage. Depends on when you're watching this, obviously, because the first stage comes out at 1 p.m. today. If you're watching this between 9 a.m. and 1 p.m., then you'll only be able to see the first impressions video. But uh, very interesting, very very interesting. I, I does, it does make me wonder whether this is based off the 2019 Tour de France because it did say 19 2019 uh, back there. So it did make me wonder. Hmm, very interesting. It said 2019, didn't it, on the podium? But maybe that's a glitch. I, I, I don't know. But uh, anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed. Um, I've been Toby from TIJ Game. Thank you very much for watching. Don't have to get out of this screen now without, uh, without doing anything. Absolutely no idea. Anyway, um, thank you very much for watching. I've been TIJ Game. And until the next time, I will see you guys later. Hope you've enjoyed, and see you guys later. Goodbye for now.